Ah, uh, ladies and gentlemen, you might want to start rolling your fat doobies around because we are living in a crazy timeline. So check this out. Drop a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new. Pentagon officials suggest alien mothership in our solar system could send many probes to Earth. Oh, shit! Oh, shit. This is a crazy timeline, and if you check the replies, nobody's uh, caring about it. And there's this video I want to play for you, so stick around for that. Uh, man says that, hey! Uh, are you not shocked? Replies alien. Man, I got a lot going on lately. And if you check the replies, nobody cares, bro. Really, seriously, we are living in a crazy timeline. Check out my OnlyFans, uh, this and that. I cannot say those words on YouTube. Uh, apparently, man is talking about reviewing that pom pom and uh, other stuff like that. I, I just cannot Bruh. believe it, guys. Just cannot believe it. Everybody's just like memeing the shiza. The people would have been ridiculed back in the 1950s, the 60s, but check this, roll this video, bro. A new government report is raising eyebrows across the country, especially among anyone interested in extraterrestrials. Our Alexandra Lamont has the story. Physicist and Harvard professor Avi Loeb Bruh. says there's a possibility humans aren't the only civilization in the universe. Whether we live in oh, such shit. a reality or not, it's not a philosophical question, we just have to look out. Loeb teamed up with the Pentagon office that investigates unidentified aerial phenomenon and they released this draft report that indicates it is possible that alien ships have already visited our solar system. Specifically, what? Loeb thinks the first... Yeah, I remember this guy when he was talking about this umwa umwa or something like that. I don't know what he called it. But this is definitely a crazy timeline. Recently, they shot down like three, four UFOs, then came forward and said that we couldn't find the wreckage. We're not ruling out ET possibility, but then said that it was a spy balloon, Chinese balloon. Initially, they did say Chinese balloon, but then they said that UFOs were not sure what it is. Now, UFOs doesn't mean aliens. Let's just be objective about the situation. But it is batshit insane because it feels like that they're drift feeding us and they're slowly and surely trying to uh, prepare us that's basically what it feels like because alien mothership in our solar system i mean god damn man and it's coming from pentagon interstellar object spotted passing through our solar system in 2017 that was given the name yeah. Oumuamua could yeah, Oumuamua, be an bruh. extraterrestrial mothership. Loeb says Oumuamua didn't have the characteristics you'd find in meteors or other known objects. We consider a possibility where an object as big as Oumuamua, which was a um, football field size, uh, is a mothership. He says the mothership could have released smaller ships or probes to study our solar system Holy. after spending a long time to get here. With chemical rockets, it takes less than a billion years to traverse the entire Milky Way galaxy. Loeb says if Oumuamua was a ship, there likely wasn't life on it. Instead, he believes it could have been operated by artificial intelligence. An artificial intelligence system that uh, stays dormant for that period and just gets activated when it comes close to its target. Ladies and gentlemen, what you think on this situation? Click on this video on the screen. This is something they don't want you seeing. Check this video out. It's about that project Blue Beam. Or click the video on the left and I will see you right there. Subscribe.